I was actually going through a couple of your old interviews <laughs> and uh, you'd spoken about um, how you think married women have problem getting work then. I do mm. believe that it has changed. But do you think the digital industry with media and like things like Netflix and Hotstar coming in, that's also opened up new opportunities? 101%, 201%. I mean, uh, today I think uh, actors are almost pretty much spoiled for choice as right. to what they want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we can have enough actors today because the, right. the amount of the sort of volume of work that sort of suddenly increase is very, very, uh, very, very positive in terms right. of, uh, you know, what, what is required. Uh, Finally, we are now doing stuff which is very real, uh, very, very, uh, you know, not not in a space where, you know, we can't relate to it. Yes. And I think that's, for, for me at least, that's the huge, right. the biggest takeaway, actually. Funny. You had spoken about how you think you're telling Alia to see this as just another profession. And um, obviously you also see how busy everybody gets and she's also started her own blog channel now. Does it worry you at all? Like maybe she's overdoing it for burnout? No, no, not at all, not at all. I'm very happy for her. I'm happy that she's doing all these different, different things. I also do maintain, however, that acting is 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 your core strength and profession. Yeah. So to do too many other things is not a great idea. Uh, simply because I think then you kind of lose sight of why you're here in the first place. And you're here at the Kapoor and Sons house. <laughs> I and I think Alia shot for like one of the uh, sequences here for her film as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That no, feel? <laughs> quite a few sequences here for, yeah. for her film. So yeah. um, yeah, I sent her a picture saying, guess where I am and all that. <laughs> she was like, oh, wow. Do you, uh, you had said that she didn't tell you too much about the work that she's doing. Has that changed after Razi or... No, no, in the sense, to tell me, I, I always know what she's doing. No, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> so far. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so she, when we meet, it's really not our discussions right. are not centered around work. Right. I have to really prod and poke and say, no, tell me, tell me, tell me all about, the, tell me the story, tell me this, tell me that. She's very reticent when it comes to, I think all the directors she's working with will be very happy to know. Mm -hmm. She doesn't reveal their, their stories to me. Yeah. Did you always know that she was going to get into it? Um, it'll come as a surprise no 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 I, I knew that you wanted to act but one can't anticipate a career path or mm -hmm. the fact that she would even get a good role mm -hmm. who knew so like you know I remember when she was about 15 years old uh, I was like started thinking oh shit now it's on my head to mm -hmm. kind of figure out how do I get her to meet people in the business mm -hmm. and how do I get her to kind of so um, I took her to a couple of auditions I remember right which were quite interesting. She was very young. So they were for ads and things like that. And mm -hmm. I remember, you know, thinking how how, how good she was at right. improvisation. Yeah. And uh, I think that cred credit actually goes to her school. She right. went to a school called Jamna by Narsi School right. in Juhu. Yeah, yeah. And she was, I think she, she kept, they kept sending her mm -hmm. uh, for all these drama competitions, inter-school drama competitions, this thing, that thing. And I think, what what really has stood her in good stead is is I think that was a beginning of you know just getting Exploring, getting yeah, yeah getting a little bit of getting familiar with what what a little bit of the craft of yeah. acting. What do you want to do more now? Uh, I don't know. I don't even actually think about it anymore it? because life has become so hectic. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I, I think I've come to a point in my life where I've stopped planning mm -hmm. and I've stopped imagining what I'm going to do next. I'm going with the flow and Isn't I think the, the flow is great because the flow is just flowing. So, so I'm happy to flow. <laughs> yeah.